In this video, we will walk you through the process of data-driven test automation within Fireflink. To get started, we'll show you how to add the necessary files to the test data section. Fireflink's test data can contain a wide range of file formats, including Excel, PDF, property files, and various image formats like JPG and PNG, etc. In the test development section, users can leverage the built-in NLPs to perform actions on uploaded files. In this demonstration, we will showcase the process of uploading an Excel file containing data and perform iterative script automation to validate a test scenario. In order to start, we need to add the necessary data inputs to an Excel file. To import the Excel file into the test data section, follow these steps. First, create a folder by clicking on the plus folder button. Provide a name for the folder, select the parent folder, and click the create button. Then, click on the plus icon next to the created folder name and select the add file option. This will open an upload files pop-up. In the pop-up, click on the choose file button and select the desired file from your device. After selecting the file, click on the open button. The file's information, including the type of file selected, will be displayed in a table. Finally, click on the upload button to complete the import process. You can expand the tree view to see the uploaded file. Once the uploaded file is ready, we can proceed with a test automation demonstration focused on searching for products within the search product section of an e-commerce web app, Shopper Stack. After creating the automation script, you'll notice a settings dropdown. From the available options, choose data providers. By clicking on the plus data provider button, you can configure the data provider settings for the selected automation script. To set up the data provider, start by entering the name of the data provider. Then, click on the file name dropdown, which will display all the uploaded files within the test data section. Select the desired file for your automation script. Now, it's time to select the specific sheet number from the Excel file, which will be utilized during script execution. Specify the from and to row values as needed. Additionally, you have the option to select the data provider type based on your requirements. Once you've made the necessary selections, click on the create button to finalize the setup of the data provider. Within the automation steps section, you can construct your script using the built-in NLPs. To incorporate the set data provider, simply enter start in the NLP search section and select the Start Iteration NLP. The input parameter will include a data provider name dropdown that will contain the set data provider. Choose the appropriate data provider from the dropdown and click the Add button. It's important to note that adding a Start Iteration NLP will automatically generate an End Iteration NLP, creating a predefined loop. You can then add automation steps between these two NLPs by clicking on the add icons. Proceed to build your automation script to validate the test scenario. Once your script is ready, click the run button to initiate the test automation process. Observe the test automation that is in progress. After the script execution, Review the automation result from the status bar next to the test scenario. This section will display the results for each iteration, allowing you to analyze the outcomes. To summarize, this video highlights the importance of the test data section and demonstrates how to add files of varied formats for test automation. We have also explored setting up a data provider within the test script to validate a test scenario. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, visit www.fireflink.com and schedule a free demo today.